Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the dumbbell chest press, okay? Now today we've got it on a slight incline. Um, this is going to work the same pretty much whether you're doing it on a slight incline, whether you're doing it on a decline, on a flat, or a higher incline, okay? So, points I want to cover is how to do it correctly and how to get the most out of the chest muscles that we're trying to work. One, we want to focus on the line of pull. Now what I find a lot of the time for guys who press on an incline, or girls, anyone who presses on an incline, the problem is they're not actually uh, pressing the dumbbell in line with where it should be. So you'll see people lay back, and instead of pressing the dumbbells up, okay, so it's over the clavicle, they'll actually kind of press that way, so like 45 degrees. The problem is this isn't gonna work the chest as we want to, so we wanna keep those dumbbells going straight up to the ceiling. So from where you are, you push the hands straight up, not in a diagonal line forward. And that's the same for flat, decline, incline, whatever incline you're gonna have on. Number two is how we do it. So you'll commonly see people go into the gym and chest press like this. Okay, common faults here. Number one, don't bash the dumbbells together. Now when we think about the chest muscle, our chest muscles come together by bringing our upper arm together. So that is our biceps, okay? So you wanna imagine, thinking about your forearm and your hand doesn't exist when you do this exercise. So when you press, we don't wanna bring the dumbbells together. We don't, effectively, what we don't want is we don't want the hands coming in, um, inside the width of the shoulders. Because as soon as you do this, this is where people rest. Rest doesn't mean we're working the muscle, doesn't mean we're challenging the muscle, which means it's not gonna grow or develop as we want it to. So what should we be doing? When we press, we wanna think about driving the biceps inwards together whilst pressing the weight in a straight line pretty much upwards. So from here, it would be that movement. So I'm trying to get my biceps to cut, touch this way. This, bringing the dumbbells together, bashing them, doesn't do anything for contracting my pecs harder. If anything, it takes tension off the pecs, which is what we don't want, okay? So that is gonna be a big point that we need to focus on. Number two, the other thing that I did on that press was I pushed my shoulders into the movement. If I lay backwards and push my shoulders into this movement from here, my chest has now sunk. So it's not my highest point of the movement, which means all of the weight and all of the load is now going through the front of my delt. So if someone goes, oh, I always feel chest presses in the front of my shoulder and I never feel it in the pecs, have a look at their technique. And if they're doing exactly that, if they're pushing their shoulders forward and they're not keeping their shoulders pinned down and back and their chest up as a high point, like so, that is probably gonna be the problem there. The final point I wanna make is angle of the elbow. Now, some people find that coming straight out to the side here aggravates the shoulder if they've had shoulder injuries, or if they've got shoulder injuries. There's nothing wrong with tucking the elbows in a little bit, okay, and just rotating the hands in a little bit as well. So if we said this was 90 degrees, somewhere between 90 and 45, anywhere in between, that is gonna be perfectly fine and finding what's best for you and your chest and where you feel it the most. So, how should it look? Take the dumbbells, pop them on your thighs, squeeze your shoulder blades together, chest up, fall backwards, and in this position my chest is high. From here, drive the dumbbells up in a straight line whilst driving the biceps together. Keeping the chest as a high point and focus on driving the upper back and shoulders into the bench, okay? Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Like I say, hands aren't coming inside shoulder width. I'm trying to focus on driving the elbows together whilst driving my shoulders and my upper back into the bench. And finally, remember, don't drop the dumbbells, okay? If you can't pick them up and put them down, then drop the weight until you can. 
This has been my video on how to chest press. Like I said earlier, if you are doing it on a flat, a decline or an incline or a higher incline, it doesn't matter, you still perform it the same. And a lot of the pressing with the biceps driving together is the same carryover when you go and do a shoulder press. Okay, I'll probably do a shoulder press video down the line, but again, it's the same focus. Don't think about bashing the dumbbells together at the top on a shoulder press. Focus on pushing the biceps together at the top and keeping the hands and the dumbbells in line with the shoulders or just outside of the shoulders if you are doing a shoulder press, okay? If you've liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the page, there's gonna be more videos or subscribe to the channel, should I say. There's gonna be more videos coming. If there's any videos you want me to do specifically on certain exercises, then let me know. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.